Hello everybody, Brendan from c21teaching.com.au here. In today's episode of Flip Teacher Professional Learning, we're going to be taking a look at some more of the features of Microsoft Office 365 OneNote, having set up a OneNote notebook. So first of all, we need to come into the Office 365 portal. We're going to click on the OneNote tile to load up our OneNote. Now from here, we can see recent OneNotes. We can also see a tab here called My Notebooks. So this is where if you set up a class notebook, you will be able to access that. I click on my 27 st stage three notebook, which I set up in a previous video, and it will load that notebook up. It'll take maybe 15 to 30 seconds, depending on how big the notebook is and how much content there is in there. And you can see here now that we've got a starting point, a demonstration of what it looks like. So let's just go through this very, very briefly on what we're actually looking at. The top middle, we've got the title of the notebook. The left-hand column, we've got our section. So we've got a, uh, in this demonstration, we've got a welcome section, collaboration space. So this is where any students can access, freely access the collaboration space. And you can see there we've got a subsection. We've got a content library. This is where you would actually put all of the content that your students will have access to. And then underneath that, we've got our student name. So this is where the students will actually have the various sections, whatever it is that you've allocated to them. So here we've got class notes. That's for them to add their own notes, homework, quizzes, handouts, whatever it is that you've set up for them. Let's come back to the top. So we've got our section here. Within that section, we have different pages. A welcome page, a OneNote for teachers training, a OneNote for students training, a OneNote basic, an FAQ on class notebooks, trying out things in staff notebooks. There's various pages there. Uh, that you can use. We've got sub pages. So here we've got a collaboration space. There's a lot of information that you would need to know about the collaboration space. So there's a page there which is called getting started within our collaboration space. So you might have here, if this is for one class, you might have history and then you might have a section called topic one, a subsection called topic two and then pages within that. Or you can have a page called topic one a page called Topic 2 and Subpages. It's up to you how you structure that, but that's that's what we're sort of looking at to start off with. The class notebook tile or um, section on the ribbon gives us some different options. So we can distribute a page, and if we click on that, it opens up another menu here on the right-hand side. It asks us to sign in to be able to do that, but we can distribute the page to the students. We can distribute a new section. If we have submitted, uh, if, sorry, if we have assigned a task, then we're requiring students to actually submit some, uh, some work for that. We can click on review student work. That will open up, again, that will open up a section over here on the right hand side asking us to do that. We also have the options for managing our class notebooks, so create a new one, add or remove teachers, add or remove students and manage notebooks, and then again we've got our professional development and help and feedback options there. So that's what you're looking at when you set up a class notebook. You do need to use OneNote with that, but it is a very powerful tool. I would definitely recommend looking through some of the videos here, the teacher training and the student training videos to have a look at that, but that's how you set up a uh, that's how you access your notebook within OneNote and use it to create your program. Uh, I'd love to see anyone who's created their program to see what theirs looks like, but it's a very, very powerful tool, and I think it's absolutely fantastic and you'll be happy with it. That's all the time we have for in this video, so thank you for watching. For more helpful videos like this one, please head to c21teaching.com.au and click on the FTPL videos link. Until next time, thank you very much.